Pete's win by Ginger Hashvili over Bent Larson at the 1980 Lone Pine Open, which Ginger Hashvili won that tournament. This game played March 16th, 1980, the eighth round of the event. And uh, we have an Indian game, East Indian defense, anti-Nimzo Indian. We saw the Nimzo Indian previously where White plays here. Of course, um, uh, Jinji was playing the black pieces. This is the Nimzo Indian. This is the anti-Nimzo Indian. But that does not stop Bent Larson from playing Bishop B4 check. Now, Bishop B4, the only difference, now this is actually the Bogo Indian, named for Afim Bogoyabov. Um, so, in other words, Bogo, Bogoyabov said, I don't care if you don't play knight to c3, I'm still going to play bishop to b4. Bishop d2, queen e7, is Nimzovich's variation, however. <laughs> Nimzovich variation. And knight c3. Uh, by the way, the Nimzovich variation, knight c3 is the last move played in that variation, which is e11. So let's go over to the database. Oh, by the way, guys, how do you like this view? I'm still waiting for comment on, on the view of the move list with the comments. Do you like the... Um, I wanted to contrast the comments with the moves, so I used the blue, but I wanted to use my theme color here, this King's Bishop Gold. Do you like this look in the move list? Waiting for feedback on that. All right, let's go to the database here. All right, castles is the top move. Uh, G3, the top move in this position. About A3. Bishop takes knight. Bishop takes bishop. And pawn to B6. Pawn to E3. And this brings us to a unique position in the database with this game only reaching this tabia and queen c2 So I'm gathering DC is asking Laplagam where he's from. Laplagam's from Christian Sant. And I don't know what Fint means, but Yegbor uh, i Frederikstad must mean I'm from Frederikstad. Frederikstad. Oh, great. Fint means great. Yegbor Frederikstad must mean I'm from Frederikstad. means great. I live in. Okay. <laughs> Soon we'll have Norwegian courses along with chess. Says so Norwegian language. Am I pronouncing it right? Jegbor i Fredrikstad? Do you pronounce your J's like a Y sound, Yik? Or is it is the G solid like that? Is it or is it more Yik? Some uh, like the Dutch pronounce the G sometimes with a guttural sound, Yik. <clears throat> Uh, 
Oh, it's neither, neither yeg nor yeg. Yeg. The end sound is like from the word tray. The end sound. So you're saying it's... Where was I? It's ye bor i Frederikstad? Fed Frederikstad? Oh, J, you do pronounce the J. Oh, what do you know? J. J. Bor i Frederik. Frederikstad. Huh. No, not the D sound. Frederick Stott. Ye bor i Frederick Stott. J bor. J bor i Frederick Stott. J bor i Frederick Stott. J bor i Frederick Stott. <laughs> okay, back to the chess. J. Bor e. Frederikstadt. J. Bor e. Phoenix. Okay, <laughs> Bishop e. Two. D. Six. Kingside Castile. Knight d. Seven. <clears throat> Rook F, D1, A5, B4, and after. Knight takes on C3, Queen takes the Knight. Rook F to E8, Rook A to C1. He'd like to find a way to open that file. Knight to f6. Knight to d2. Pawn to h6. And here we go. Looking to open the c file. But a takes b4, a takes b4. Knight to d5 striking the queen. Hello, Fufus. Queen b3. Now pawn takes c5. D takes c5. It was b, by the way. B pawn takes c5. D takes c5. Rook e b8 lining up with the queen. In c6, I thought his entire purpose here was going to be to open this file and of course if queen takes you're in line here with the with the rook or if the pawn takes you've got a completely open file for your rook to work on so uh, I was surprised by that move even though it is an active move <clears throat> hello killa Bishop a6, interrogating the white king's bishop. b5, of course, the bishop cannot be captured in the present situation, <clears throat> but it does obstruct. Bishop takes, bishop takes, and now a super attack.
Rook B1. Rook takes. Rook B takes. And uh, Genji giving up his queen for the two rooks. And we have two rooks and a knight against a queen and a knight. Pretty awesome looking stuff here. Now, the fork happens though. The check happens to get out of the fork. Okay. And now rook a1. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I, I'd be very apprehensive about having traded my queen for those two rooks in this position. It's not as bad as um, the previous position, but the queen still has a lot of open lines <clears throat> where it could become a problem. Now, White's idea, no doubt, is going to be to get rid of this pawn and push that pawn. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, curious, right? Bent Larson does make some mistakes here, starting with queen f6 here. Uh, White's biggest threat is turning this pawn into a queen. <clears throat> And keep in mind, that pawn's worth um, four points right there. That's a four-point pawn. So a move like queen c5, coming in this direction, of course, you've got a back rank weakness here. And... Um, you want to bring your queen into a more open area <clears throat> when you have a queen against two rooks imbalance. <clears throat> you want your queen to have greatest mobility. So, like h4 resolves the back rank weakness, but after knight e4... Oops, my mouse still giving me trouble. <clears throat> so after h5, queen c2, rook f1 has to defend, knight c3, g3, creates weakness here, so queen e4, king g2. I, I mean, this, I, I it's marked as equal, It's probably equal from here, but from over here, he's allowing white to execute his plan. So he has the same kind of idea, but <clears throat> the main difference is white has now created a pass pawn. Now after knight takes f2, and this is a mistake. This is a mistake here. Instead, after e5 and knight to g5 check and pawn takes and rook takes, <clears throat> h5, g4, Double the rooks, king h6, rook b e8, queen takes, getting rid of that heavy duty passer, king h, rook f7, queen d6, rook f5, something like so. <clears throat> and you probably, black is probably um, holding here for sure. Queen in the wide open. White isn't going to make any ground here, I don't think. So, um, yeah. Uh, and I did I show... I, I guess I missed showing the other alternative as well. 
Oh no, I... Let me go back, 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 back. Oh yeah, that's right. I had wanted to show too the... The line where queen c2, rook f7, queen f2 check. And you have a forced repetition here. <clears throat> Just back and forth. forced repetition there so black could have had that forced repetition as well all right so back 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 this is what was played <clears throat> oops I'm sorry you're saying it's uh, losing for black huh you want to trade those two rooks off for the queen and black's losing? Let's go to that line. Where was it? Um, he says trade off the two rooks and black is losing in this line. Really? Sterling says black is losing. Huh. Well, I guess you're right. He does have this extra pawn here and here. He just comes up and kills this. Yeah, it looks like you're right. I guess Black's not holding in that line. What did I think? Well, wait a minute. He doesn't have to take, though. Oops, wrong move. What if he... Um, what if he doesn't take the rook? What if he just plays king h6? Yeah, don't don't take the rook. Don't take the rook. King h6. Keep your queen on the board. Keep your queen on the board and I think you're you're definitely holding here. What does he play here, Sterling? <clears throat> I mean, I guess you don't want him to lose that pawn, so you give the check. But now what? <clears throat> and at some point, if you don't give check, <clears throat> there's going to be a perpetual... Still waiting for Sterling to give me an answer here. <clears throat> Sterling has a win. What What is your winning move? Rook G7. You got two rooks that can go to g7. If you play rook hg7, um, then king will just come up here. I maybe do that either way. Just play king here, right? No, that's mate and one. <laughs> it's mate and one. Arr! <laughs> Never mind. <coughs> yeah. What's your continuation? I think as soon as you do not give a check as soon as you do not give a check <clears throat> um, black can give a perpetual <clears throat> 
So, and then of course, if he gives check, you just go back. <clears throat> So, uh, but rook takes g7 is obviously a, a, a try. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, we just don't trade. We just keep our queen on the board and just evade and dance. And don't walk into checkmate by playing king h4. All right. In this line that actually was played, black is just going to be lost here. <clears throat> King g6, and of course, uh, that leads to checkmate in just a couple of moves. But really, there's not much alternatives here because if you take the knight, <clears throat> check, king g6, h5, check, king f5, rook f8, and then that queen is falling, and it's all over from there as well. <clears throat> rook c1 to prevent the checks. Back, 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 back. Back, back, back. <clears throat> um, rook c1 to prevent the checks. Rook c1. Well, this was not the right line. Oh. Let's go. Where were we? Um, yeah, this was not, it's not the right line to take this, but <clears throat> you want to play, you don't mean rook c1, you mean, not there, uh, you mean, um, hold on, you mean here, rook f1. But rook f1's not wise. You separate. You don't want to separate your rooks. <clears throat> For example, after check and king takes, um, well, there is not a line, I guess. That wait a minute. Can I come here? No, you just yeah. Queen d3, check. And then you lose one rook. So you don't want to separate your rooks. <clears throat> now it's, in that position, it's white who has to fight for a draw and just try to stay, you know... He's got the uh, he's got a fortress here, so it's probably still a draw. <clears throat> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> if anybody's winning here, though, it's black. Okay, back, 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 back. Oh, we actually made it to the checkmate. You can see good numbers there. Uh, on both sides. White's accuracy, 99.05. I forgot to mention the accuracy and best move ratios in the previous games. 